Anaheim neighborhoods have become parking battlegrounds. In many neighborhoods without parking permits, curb space is so limited that cars are parked bumper to bumper. This problem branches out into various other issues including being late to work to school, paying too much for individual parking permits, or having to walk multiple blocks home due to parking so far away. Because we have all experienced parking issues as Anaheim residents, our compelling question was, should the city of Anaheim play an active role in solving parking issues in a city? We asked these supporting questions in order to find a solution. How many vehicles are there per household? What is currently being done to solve this issue? How many housing units are being built? When a new housing unit is built, how much parking space is provided? The answers to these questions are as followed. According to Governing.com, 94.8% of Anaheim households own at least one vehicle. On average, there are two vehicles per household. According to Andy's map, there are 217 housing units currently under review, approved, or being built. According to City Chief Communications Officer Mike Lister, it is not required to build new parking spaces when a new household is built. We will be discussing current solutions later on. Besides numerical data, we researched articles focused on the parking problem. According to Los Angeles Times, the city's permit parking policy continues to pit neighbor against neighbor. The article also includes a statement from Ray Abrahamson, an Anaheim resident, asking, Would you like to go home at night and park three streets away and walk to your house? Our research, especially this critical question posed by Abrahamson, further contributes to our belief that limited parking continues to be a major issue that many Anaheim residents face. Enforcing parking permits does solve the issue one neighborhood at a time, however, it'll only cause cars to move over to another neighborhood. Because it is only possible for cars to move over, not be removed, Anaheim parking will always be crowded in one place or another due to this root cause. As witnesses of this ongoing issue that almost everyone in Anaheim experiences, our goal was to alleviate condensed parking in neighborhoods without permits. Our first action was to interview both students and residents about their experiences. People usually do because the neighborhood that I live in, um, I think one person like works in cars, so then you just see like random cars parked everywhere. So then it's, it, it could be difficult once in a while to find parking. Uh, sometimes, like on the weekends, it gets crowded and then you can't find parking even if you have a permit. There's a lot of people who have permits, so it gets crowded and then you end up not finding parking. Um, well, since there's apartments next to like that neighborhood, a lot of them just park. Yeah, it'd be better to pay, and then yeah, your your parking spot there for sure. I would just to make my life a little easier. I actually would, as long as it's not like that expensive. The residents about to be shown are from Juno Avenue, as stated by LA Times. In Anaheim's Juno Avenue neighborhood, one mile west of Disneyland, nearly all nearby single-family home streets have converted to a permit-only parking, squeezing apartment dwellers into a never-shrinking space. We wanted to have one-to-one -one interactions with these residents to better understand their struggles. Mira, yo soy nueva en este lugar, apenas entré aquí, pero para mí sí es un problema porque quiere venir mi hija a visitarme, incluso la bebé. Eh, tengo un mes aquí, no me ha visto, entonces iba a venir. No sé qué día que llovió también. Y le dije, pero está lloviendo, mamá. ¿Y aquí dónde te estaciona? Y todos se pelean por ese pedacito, incluso si, que es que tenemos que salir por aquí. Acá en la calle nunca hay parqueadero. Ni porque es de día, ni porque es de noche. Nunca vas a encontrar un estacionamiento. Y yo le dije a mi hija, si quieres visitarme, vete hasta, ya hasta la Riding Eye, se viene caminando. Y es bastante problema. Los de aquel edificio deben de tener su propio parqueadero, incluso se vienen a parquear acá. And what the problem is with this parking structure is it's overpopulated. What the landlords here need to do is regulate the housing 
So that way, there will be more parking. Not only that, everybody here uses their garages as storage. Nobody did that, everybody went fine. Population increase and easy availability of cars has forced multiple cars to park in outdated spaces. The original architects never accounted for the possibility of one household having larger and multiple vehicles, so the city must now deal with the cramped spaces. Clearly, the residents are disturbed by the difficulty to find parking, but none of them are really sure how to fix it. If one solution existed, cities all over the country wouldn't be dealing with the parking issue today. That is why it is important for us to understand what other students and Anaheim residents are dealing with. But how did this problem begin? To answer this question, our second action was to reach out to the Anaheim Chief Communications Officer, Mike Lister. Why and how we get here is that back in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, people didn't, wasn't very common for you to have a household with three or four cars like you potentially could have today with a family. So typically, maybe you had one, maybe two cars, um, just because that's the way it was back then. Maybe just the dad worked or whatever. Um, so you wouldn't have anywhere near as many cars as you have now, or people maybe took some public transit. But nowadays, as you guys, well, let me ask you guys, <laughs> what's it like in your household? How many cars do you guys have? So um, I have three, actually, and we have parking permits in our neighborhood. And so um, before we did it, we had parking permits recently, like in the last year. And before it was really crowded and we weren't even able to park in our own space. But now that we have parking permits, it's been a lot better. But those cars have shifted over to the next neighborhood. Oh, yeah. So it made your life better, but then you're kind of a good citizen and kind of realize it just pushes up the problem one street over. He explains that the problem began in the 50s to 70s. When buildings were constructed then, few people had multiple cars, so it was never necessary to separate large land portions for parking. As the population in Anaheim grows, the land becomes more expensive. For additional data, we emailed a survey out to all students with questions about how parking permits or the lack of parking permits affect them. 69% of students believe that parking permits are helpful. However, there is a larger issue at hand. So if, if permit parking solved the availability problem and some of those kind of quality of life issues I just talked about, then somebody would tell you, great, I think it's excellent. Others will say, uh, who don't have it, say, I still have a problem with parking. Why don't people build more parking with um, apartment communities and things like that? Then you have folks who live in apartments who say they tend to get squeezed by uh, permit parking. That is, single-family homes, streets all around them will adopt it because they don't have enough, apartments don't have enough parking, and then, quote, spill over onto these other streets. So they would say, no, the program doesn't work for us because that creates that situation I was talking about where somebody may have to park four or five, six blocks away from their house mm -hmm. and then have to walk to their apartment. As Mike Lister mentioned, too many vehicles are causing a spillover in neighborhoods and parking permits would only cause vehicles to shift and overcrowd another street. Our third action was to attend a town hall meeting addressing the parking permit problem. The purpose of this was to seek potential future solutions regarding this ongoing issue. Because the problem of crowded neighborhoods in Anaheim is so severe and widespread, our research led us to the conclusion that there's only so much the city can do to solve this problem. As stated by the moderator of the meeting, At the town hall meeting, it was explained that parking permits often lead to a spillover. In previous years, the city implemented a similar program called the Spillover Parking Program. However, it was problematic. The current solution has revised and separated the previous system and it will take an effect in the following months. There are three prominent solutions to be enforced in the near future. As said before, there is no perfect solution, but here are the steps Anaheim will take to create a better balance between housing units and parking space. First, Anaheim will streamline the current parking permit program with new, larger permit parking districts, have a quicker permit application process, and issue permits based on the number of bedrooms. 
This will all be enforced more with code enforcement and the Anaheim Police Department. Second, Anaheim will prohibit extended parking of autos for sale on major streets. This way, residents will be prioritized rather than cars on sale. Finally, Anaheim will prohibit oversized vehicle parking on city streets as part of the proposed updated parking permit program. Because it is unfair for oversized vehicles to take over other residents' space, more regulation will allow more residents to park.